Some pirates aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or negotiated with. Some pirates just want to watch the world burn. Welcome back to Six Style Gaming, guys. That now famous quote from the character Alfred in the movie The Dark Knight is at the heart of why we need to allow the Servant of the Flame and the Reapers to win the war against Merrick in the battle for Golden Sands. The Servant of the Flames and the Reapers are just like Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight. They can't be bought, bullied, or reasoned with. They want to see the world burn. That creates a fantastic antagonist for the story of Sea of Thieves. And don't worry, the heroes will have their day, but the villain must be built up first. The war between Merrick and the Servant of the Flame is really heating up and reflecting on the state of the game, now is the perfect time for evil to prevail. Let me explain. If the Reapers win, the game will take on a more villainous tone for the foreseeable future. Every great story needs to transform at some point into something darker something more mysterious and leave us all with a sense of hopelessness. Then as the villains seem to have their ruthless and unwavering Darth Vader grip around the hero's throat, the heroes can rise from the ashes like a phoenix and save the day, lifting the Sea of Thieves out of peril and win out in the end. This is the formula for great storytelling and Sea of Thieves has an opportunity right now to abide by that great storytelling formula. Here's what I think we're going to get if the Reapers win. Expansion of Reaper's Island or moving it to where Golden Sands currently resides. Future Reaper's Quest and Commendation expansions for the faction, possibly even the Grand Maritime Union Navy potentially being brought in to help fight the Reapers. If you didn't know, there have been mentions of the Maritime Union in the past lore, and I think a Reaper's victory will be the spark to introduce them into the Sea of Thieves. For these reasons alone, I think the best thing to happen to Golden Sands is to be destroyed by the Reapers. Please check out the playlist popping up now and all the Sea of Thieves content on the channel.